Dennis Carroll has been nominated to receive the prestigious award of Sagamore the Wabash. This nomination is due to his long-standing efforts, contributions, and other uh, opportunities to the citizens of Anderson and Mount County. Keep it all in one piece. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Carroll has completed 35 years in judicial service and even founded a special court, the mental health court for Madison County. And furthermore, Judge Carroll has served as a trustee for Anderson University and the board members of the, and, and is also a board member of the community hospital. This type of civic impact and leadership defines the, the type of individual worthy of a Sagamore of the Wabash. And so it is my privilege on behalf of Governor Mike Pence to present Dennis Carroll with the Sagamore of the Wabash for his tremendous service to the great state of Indiana. But before I do that, um, Dennis, the governor really, really wanted to be here this evening. He has a previous engagement that he could not get out of, and um, he presented a, a letter. That's okay. I, I copied it. <laughs> so I have something to read. As you can tell, we didn't practice. No. <laughs> and it says, uh, Dear Judge Carroll, as governor, it is a pleasure to bestow upon you the honor of the Sagamore of the Wabash Award. For as long as I have known you, you've been someone that my colleagues and I have wanted to emulate. From your long-standing marriage to your wonderful wife, Emily, your children, your foster children, your 34 or 35 years as judge, I count you among those that I hold in highest regard. The term Sagamore was used by a Native American tribe of northeastern United States to describe a lesser chief or a great man among the tribe whom the chief would look to for wisdom, guidance, and advice. The Sagamore of the Wabash is one of the highest honors that the governor of Indiana can bestow. And for you and your distinguished service to this state and your contribution to our Hoosier heritage, as a friend and a brother in Christ, thank you for your remarkable service to Madison County and this great state of Indiana. Sincerely, Governor Michael R. Pence. We were about three days into a murder trial, and the crowd in that particular murder trial was unruly, to say the least. There were fights in the hallway. We got reports that there were shots fired after court each day. And on about the third day of trial, the jury went out I stood up, and someone in the crowd behind me said something to me. In hindsight, I probably should have ignored that, but I didn't. I turned around, responded. That prompted three or four people in the crowd to stand up and start responding. Sharon Clark got involved. She's yelling. I'm yelling. The deputies came running over, separated everybody, and cleared out the courtroom. But as that's going on, all I hear behind me in the same voice, the same tone, is this. Counsel, counsel, counsel. And about the third time I thought, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've got a problem. And I turned around and he was doing this. Would you two approach? So I took a deep breath and Sharon and I approached and he leaned forward, covered up his microphone so as not to record what he was about to say to us. And these are the words that I will forever remember. He said, I know you two enjoy the circus, but the last time I checked, this is my courtroom, and I'm not a fan of the side show. <laughs> and with Mr. Derek, he said, am I clear? <laughs> I think so. And he let the button go, and Sharon and I walked back, and that feeling was that same feeling I had leaving the principal's office in elementary school. <laughs> and that's it. And and we're so fortunate to have a judge like that, that in the midst of complete chaos, he's never changed. It's consistent, it's unwavering, it's predictable, it's exactly what court should be. My entire career, and he knows this, I've said it before, every county I go to, I think, every judge should be Judge Carroll. That's the model, that's the standard. It would be nice to take credit for the leadership lecture series, uh, but the truth is that uh, Emily's been thinking about this for a while. 
uh, she knows that over a period of uh, many years, I would like to go to some of the lectures that were at various institutions around here at Butler and um, over at Ball State and at the law school, where members of the public were invited to come and listen to um, opinion shapers, uh, scholars, uh, leaders in business and the arts, and um, it's a wonderful way that an academic community can reach out to the broader community. And so I was always very fascinated by that. And uh, so Emily had in the back of her mind that as uh, I approached retirement, it would be nice for maybe Anderson University to have some sort of a, a leadership lecture series like that. And so this is really her idea.